Chi Chi get the motherfucking yeah yo. Definitely woke up my Tony Nikki's butt, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I take that back. No, you don't. No, nah, I do, man, because her ass ain't real. Like, I still think she's fine as a motherfucker, but her ass is just too big and fake. You still put your tongue in that motherfucker. I was definitely still with my tongue in that motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> we back. Oh, shit. Another <laughs> week. He's, another gotta, he's gotta stop doing this to me. <laughs> <laughs> he's gotta stop doing this to me, guys. I'm trying to tell this nigga some personal shit off the record. <laughs> I thought you knew we was rolling. Nope. <laughs> Had no idea whatsoever. Hey, yes, you, yes, I'm gonna point Tucky Nicky knock his ass. Judge me. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna keep it 100 though. Like, I ain't about to repeat what you just said, but I, I was gonna say if it was too, something too crazy, I'm gonna just, you know what I'm saying? I edited it out. Nope. No, that's not coming. Oh. Out. I'm talking about if it's some personal shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't need to views that, man. Yeah, no, no, no. Once we get famous, I'm gonna start digging up our past histories anyway. So man, they like, better the fuck not. Yeah, that shit gonna be bad. That shit is gonna be terrible. They gonna be like, this nigga went to where for what? <laughs> I don't want no parts. It's that Costa Rica trip he was telling y'all about. <laughs> I don't want no not look, man. Plantain poppy. Yeah. All I'm gonna say is that I ain't give myself that nickname. But we back though, man. Yeah. I have your host. Regular Zach, my co-host. Go by the name Kyle, 80 Proof, Smokey Robinson, Fetty Pendergrass, Human Chimney, whatever you want to call me. This nigga got more like names than like what they call each other on Martin. The sad thing is like, I give them to myself so they don't really count for shit. They do. <laughs> <coughs> if you got to make up your own nickname, it's not cool. Nah, nah, not in that sense. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So, you, th those is I. Those could work. Yeah. Those could work. But yeah, man, we got a lot of shit that happened this week. It was a good week, man. It's a great week, especially for content. Yeah. Like, man. So you want to start with music or sports? Ooh. Let's start with sports, man. <laughs> let's get the, let's get the non-controversial <laughs> shit out the way. <laughs> Even though... The, the big topic kind of coincides. It all goes together. <laughs> like, like, Music, sports, it's all one thing. <laughs> so, um, I'm in the wrong, oh, this ain't, I'm in the text thread. This ain't even notes. I'm like, what the fuck? He about to read our agenda from his text messages <laughs> from when he was drunk last night. Nah, the, the shit I was about to read, then you, you were sending drunk text messages last night? <laughs> Boy. That, that. Three o'clock in the morning, you up text. What your shirt say? <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> Anything is possible. Shout out to Do Say though. I got the shirt on, but shout out to Do Say. That hove. Yeah. <laughs> it's still salute the hove. <laughs> we gonna get into it. Get into it. <laughs> we gonna still salute it. the hove. So let's start with uh so we gonna move into the controversy. So uh <sighs> Rich Paul. You want to start with Rich Paul or you want to start with AB? Start with AB. And his shenanigans and shit. Uh, AB back though. He was he was playing a diva role. You know what I mean? But you got to try that. I guess you got to try that shit sometimes to try to get your way. Yeah. I mean, from what it's looking like, he definitely got his way. Or well, he's definitely getting his way. No, he didn't. They shut that helmet shit down. I thought he was getting some helmet shipped to him and uh oh yeah oh yeah, yeah like he went on twitter and uh he did some shit about um he tweeted some shit about sending the sending some helmets to him like he gave the specific year and model that he wanted and um he had a bunch of fans sending some shit i mean they still got to clear it which i mean the nfl petty as shit they're probably yeah. even if the shit cleared they're probably not gonna clear that shit just because the shit he put in yeah. But they they said his foot is um is healing. They need to cut that. That shit like Kunta foot. They need to cut that shit off. <laughs> they need to just buy new feet. Yo, matter of fact, you seen Mr. D's, right? Yeah. Remember the, the foot that nigga had? Yeah. He was poking it. <laughs> <laughs> he was poking that shit with the with the fire stop poker and shit. And he ain't feel it. Yeah, that's how yeah, that motherfucker that. foot was. But yeah, I mean So I hope with all this shit that he doing, he ends up being worth oh yeah he gotta have all of it. he gotta have 1500 yards and, and yeah. at least 10 touchdowns <laughs> this year 
Cause he got what seventeen with seventeen with the um with the Steelers last yes. year. <coughs> Sorry, my coughing, y'all. So he got this a train this week. What's that? Um, it's Reggie. I'm smoking o- dirt. O- OG Creed. Yeah, OG Creed. <laughs> you got some OG Creed. I got <laughs> dirt. Like dirt. Like, that's yeah. that's a nigga way of telling you don't ask him for nothing. Nope. Don't ask. Him. <laughs> No, you can't hit me. <laughs> so I have to hit this shit. Ass and shit <laughs> nah, but um, so yeah, AB get it together. I'm looking forward to the football season as always. I'm a big football fan, so yeah. Fly Eagles, fly. Transition into basketball. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait. Oh, that's. that's I mean, just because I like to throw shots at you and shit, and you're a horrible person. And your quarterback throw five interceptions in a row in, in practice this week? I play for that team. He's my quarterback. He's your quarterback. So yeah. I, I, I play for them. You are a 49ers fan. That is your quarterback. Do I play for them? No, nigga. We wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> you play for them. <laughs> You're right. Because you would definitely not be my co-host if I was out here. <laughs> See how niggas do when they get a little bit of money? Soon as niggas get a little bit of money, they can change on you. Nigga, five co-hosts. He's going to be my number. This niggas for you, man. It's some light skinned people. This nigga's already like one of the most horrible friends to have. As a, as a broke nigga, so I ain't shit, but I try. <laughs> I ain't shit, but I try. I ain't shit, but I mean well. But um, yeah, he did that. Yeah. I mean, I think it's fucked up because like he threw him in practice to a defense that he watches practice every day. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. Like the nigga knows what what the defense is going to do. Like, he might even be able to hear the de- defensive calls as they come in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because it's just like yo. Because you know, most times when you in football practice, like yeah, they running both, but they more orchestrated on one side of the ball. Yeah. So it's just like yo, defense, you just kind of running through. But offense, we need to get offense together. This this practice. <laughs> this nigga was just like, oh shit, he got a 49er jersey on. <laughs> fuck it. He didn't give a fuck what color it was. It was just like he got a 49er jersey on getting the ball. Throwing the ball. But you know what I think? Somebody pointed it out to me and I, I believe it. I think he was testing our defenders' hands. Oh. <laughs> that's the bullshit you're gonna hear come football season. <laughs> I think he was testing our defenders' hands to see how well they how well they are paying attention and how well they can intercept the ball. Sounds good. That was good. But I just wanted to, you know, throw that shot out there. Man, we going fucking six and ten. <laughs> I can't fucking believe this shit. I'm sick. Yeah. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to pre-coat with it. I mean, we beat the Cowboys. I don't give a fuck <coughs> if it was preseason or not. Anytime they lose is a good day. Big facts. I don't care if they lose a scrimmage. Big facts. <laughs> like, nigga, I'm happy. <laughs> don't sign Zeke. They got to get that man his money. Yeah. Speaking of which, that's, that's the next shit. Um, so we got Zeke, Amari, Cooper, and Dak, and they all want money. The but, only one that really deserves some money is Zeke. Yeah. Zeke been in the top two running back the past three years, and he's probably not number two. Even suspended. Yeah, even suspended. Yeah, so he has a leg to stand on when it comes to them contract shit. But I was watching ESPN, and I did see that some shit that was very interesting. They were saying that only one quarterback has what was it? Either one more y- one more games or had more yardage than Dak. Yeah. And that was Brady. Dak when you look at Dak's stats, they look amazing. But Dak is only that but they good. Don't count yeah, for shit. They don't count for shit. Yeah. And he's only that good because Zeke is back there. Yeah. You gotta put eight people up to stop Zeke. He throwing the one on one coverage. You should be able to win that as a quarterback. Yeah. So, but then, yeah, I mean, but you got to think, how many quarterbacks that, I ain't going to say are, are better or not better. This nigga still got caller tunes on his phone. Bro, that, <laughs> that was some shit in the sentence. Now I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh, man. I think I lost all our top. No, I didn't. So, uh, <laughs> but no, um, oh, yeah, that. So they were saying, like, how certain quarterbacks are making, like, $20 million more than him a year that are not producing what he's producing. He ain't produce shit. Stat-wise. Oh, yeah, I mean, but it's yeah. only because he got Zeke back there. Zeke allows him to look that good. You take Zeke from that backfield, that go like trash. <laughs> I mean, we've seen it. So. 
We've seen it. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> but he black, so pay the man. And Amari ain't really <laughs> saying too much. Amari don't deserve. They talking about giving him top five wide receiver money, which is stupid. Because I can name ten receivers in the league that are better than Amari. But Julio got the top five money yet? I think so. Okay. You got Julio, A. B. D. Hop, Mike Evans, Keenan Allen. This is yeah. Really I mean, it's better than Amari. So he definitely doesn't deserve top five salary. But he'll get his money next year. He, he might not even be better than Golden <coughs> State while you bullshit. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. So, but yeah. Praying for the Cowboys failure this year as always though. Yeah. Every year. Every fuck day. Fuck them. Like I put that shit in my prayers. Like I pray for peace and prosperity in the world and I pray for the Cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> Cowboys fans are just crumble. It's just as annoying as the barbs or the beehive <sighs> foreshadowing. <laughs> oh, oh. Foreshadowing. For sure. Because <laughs> them motherfuckers, they, the, them bobs or whatever the fuck, they, they be ready to get you the fuck up out of here. <laughs> like, just they just don't play no games. Uh, Beehive will get you out of here. The barbs are ratchet. They want to fight you. Like, yeah. Calm down. So shit, moving forward, because I want to hold that. Um, what you think about this Rich Paul shit, man? The Rich Paul rule and all the bullshit going on. It was a now you don't have to have a bachelor's to be an agent. No, I think they said you do, like, they don't, so pretty much how they formulated the shit was they don't want another Rich Paul, in the, in, like, they yeah. don't want nobody else to do it how he did it. That's fucked up. I think it's fucked up. I mean, if you good at what you do, regardless of what you have, yeah, they say they um, behind you not, let them be good at what they do. So I think, I don't think the bachelor's thing went through, but I think they said you do have to have at least, like, three years of experience. Instead of just being able to come in there and fuck the league up? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I would love to fuck the league up. But yeah. it's just like, yo. But why they want why they wait to now to want to implement this rule? Like why is that shit important now? Why was it never a thing before Rich Paul started doing what he was doing in the NBA? Uh they gotta protect themselves and their money. And they see one person do it, that should have happened again. So try to save that shit. So what you're saying is, since Rich Paul is a black man, and he's doing some shit that they couldn't do with some of the biggest stars in the league, that's why they did it. Precisely. Okay. Precisely. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I just wanted to make, that's exactly I just wanted to make sure that's, that, that's, what I, cause that's what I got out of what you just said. That's exactly Even what I Even mean. though that, that's nowhere near close to <laughs> not, it. not what I said at all. <laughs> but I agree with that statement 100%. But yeah, I think that's what it is. Like, if Rich Paul won't Rich Paul, if he was Richard Paul, <laughs> Dick, <laughs> if he was Dick Paul, oh, Dick Paul, it would have been a different situation. They would have applauded him, like, "Oh, he did all this with no bachelor's, yeah. and I can't believe it." Like, he's the first ever. I mean, the man hustle, man. If you, yeah. it don't matter what you a hustle in life is the same across all platforms. Yeah. It's a hustle. So if you could hustle dope on the streets, you can sell used cars. You can negotiate contracts. You just got to take time to learn that specific platform. But the hustle don't change. I should, so, I should probably put to, this shit on mute, huh? It's probably annoying people a little bit. It's annoying the fuck out of me. <laughs> Bro, I never had this shit on. I don't even know how to do this shit. Oh, there you go. I feel like I'm being judged right now. I don't a little even. bit. <laughs> a little bit. But yeah, um... But I mean, yo, the, the NCAA is just, I think they need a whole new overhaul. Like, I think they need. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's been time for that. It's been time for that. They're not paying. They need to pay student athletes. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't have to worry about all these people trying to take money behind people's backs, behind closed doors and yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, that so, shit crazy. It's like, yo, we're not going to give you no bread. But if you, and if you ever take bread from, from, anybody, from anybody else, <laughs> your career is finished. Like that shit retarded, yo. Like you see what they did to Reggie Bush, and this that was like they found out six years, years later. after. Yeah, they, I've been to the NFL. Leave me the fuck alone. But they took the man Heisman away, and that shit is just bro. like damn, yo. You know what I'm saying just because they college kids struggle. If you ever been to college, you know that shit. I mean, I've been to some colleges. I ain't never like enrolled. Like I never got a chance to actually get up. Nah, in the school. 
I'm just saying, like you said, it was around some colleges, so I knew some college kids. That's what that is, man. They definitely need, definitely need an overhaul on that shit. Yeah. This is why we need an engineer, man. We need a third <laughs> person. Just somebody who don't want to do nothing but fuck with the cameras. Yeah, come, come join the BYOB podcast as an intern. Because <laughs> ain't no money coming through this bitch yet. <laughs> Nobody. We do it for the love, though, man. I enjoy doing this shit. Yeah. I mean, we do it for the love, but we definitely still want some money from this shit. And we want sponsors. We right. need sponsorship. So, anybody out there, advertisement, you need to advertise your business. Kyle has a great, like, commercial voice. I do. It works. Yeah. So, we start doing commercials. He can sound just like the nigga from Allstate if you need him to. Y'all got to pay me for that. I'm not going <laughs> to give y'all no freebies. I see he tried to set me up to give you the freebie. I'm not giving you the freebie, fam. <laughs> I tried. We was we I, we was right there with it. I tried, but um, yeah, man. So the, like the NCAA is just it's just a bunch of bullshit on both sides. Like the whole yeah. the the whole side of the sport and like so they get mad money off of these people. Hell of yeah. money off these young boys. The colleges are the, the NCAA themselves is making mad money off of these people. Give these boys some money, man. A thousand dollars a game ain't gonna kill y'all. Yeah, like give them just give them some shit. Or if if they want to carry it like that, put some money in like a like a fund. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Give them something. I mean, I know they get their free scholarships and education, which is good. But yeah, put some money in like a fund, and once they graduate, whether they do or do not make it to the NFL or after every season. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just give them that money. I don't. I don't. I don't get what the big issue is. I mean, I get it. They want to keep their fucking money. Yeah, they want to keep the fucking money. It's how the rich stay rich. But you got to think, the average football stadium is what? What, 14,000? No, it's probably like 10. Like football, like... What do you mean, like the, the like amount of people Like for football, yeah. So about... What, how many people, people at home? Yeah. They up to like 25, 30. They're the 25? They're they, they high up there, I believe. So I'm just saying, so you got to think... Ticket prices. This is per home game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got merchandise. NCAA don't let nobody else merchandise they shit. So all the merchandise goes through them. So it's just like, yo, I mean, they making bank. Because I looked at something, um, they say the, like, Duke, they home games, they accumulate, like, like, 250 grand. I just want you to know, we were way off in our number, by the way. At least sixty thousand. Word? Yeah. God damn. Between sixty and seventy thousand. And them shits be packed. Sold the fuck out. Them shits be packed. That's what I'm saying. And the tickets ain't a dollar. Nah. <laughs> like you talking hundreds up to thousands of dollars every motherfucking game. If you're not gonna give these boys their money, don't stop them from getting money. Yeah, that's fucked up. Support on the black man because all these, you know, most of these athletes are black for the most part. And I'm lying because you got sports like soccer and shit, but I'm like, I mean, you got um, Riley Cooper. Fuck Riley Cooper. You got Riley Cooper. That's your man. So fuck Riley Cooper. He'll kick the ass of every <laughs> every nigga in here. <laughs> that shit was wild. I wanted him to try it though. Like, why he didn't say it around no niggas? Of course not. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> That'd be the dumbest shit ever. Quickest way to get punched in your face, white people. Call them niggas niggas. Yeah. Even if they doing some niggerish shit, I wouldn't recommend yeah, it. I wouldn't recommend it. That shit is. Yeah, yo, that shit is over with. <laughs> it's like froze. I don't know how to unfreeze it. That shit cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so he's broke one of our cameras. It's still like flashing blue and shit, and I'm like, I'm over here fucking up. The podcast trying to get this right, <laughs> but I'm trying to keep talking. <laughs> they even looking down the entire even in his phone and then the camera. Phone camera. I'm trying to keep talking and shit, but it's just like, yeah, this not. Oh, I think we back in business. I kept telling y'all it's hard to have jobs in front man. Nobody fucking believes me. Nobody believes me, bro. Is that why I didn't get invited out last night? I mean, it wasn't my shit, dig. <laughs> wasn't my shit, dig. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know who was gonna be there until I got there. 
Damn, yo. I got hit with the who are there, and I was not even the nigga that was there. <laughs> nah. I think, it, you know what I mean? Everybody know I'm kind of a hermit. So they probably was like, this nigga ain't even gonna come. Or sit in the house and jump in your pot of gold, don't you, Scrooge McDuck? Nah, bro, I was, uh, I ain't ashamed to say it, nigga. I was at home, uh, I was watching Friends. I was binge watching Friends. No one told you life would ever be this way. That shit, man. Friends got one of the best theme songs ever. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Yeah, Friends got one of the best theme songs ever. Yo, and that shit, I ain't gonna lie, that shit is kind of, like, now that like, I'm older and I watch it, that shit is funny, yo. Friends was always funny to me. That shit, like, I watched it as a kid, but I ain't, you know, I ain't really. Um, so what else we got? Um. I shout out to John Wick. <laughs> oh, John Wick. Shout out to John Wick. The Philly boy that was. Philly boy. <laughs> that shit was. He shot six cops in North Philly the other day. Yeah. That's that wild. was crazy. That's wild. What I don't understand is they said the cops got shot, but these niggas was out of the hospital in like three hours. Where did he shoot these niggas at? He Tupac them? I don't know. He shoot niggas in the ass. <laughs> the nigga hit him with the Tupac. Um, oh, yeah, Sebastian Telfair. They gave him three and a half years. For what? He got a gun in New York and some weed in a car. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Getting caught with a gun in New York is, is yeah, he's, tragic. Like he snapped in the courtroom though. I would have too, but it ain't. I mean, <laughs> if you go to New York, like anybody who carries guns knows there are certain places you just don't carry guns. New York is one of them. DC, like you just don't yeah. carry guns in the place. California, like you just pretty yeah. much all the big cities that's not in Texas. Yeah, they go all you up and you <laughs> if they catch you up. Texas, so, and, Texas and Florida, Atlanta. You do the fuck you want to do, Atlanta. Yeah, Texas, Florida, the South period. Yeah. I don't think there's no anti-gun area in the South. Niggas tote. <laughs> yeah, niggas be putting AKs on their back like a book bag. Yeah. Niggas be walking around with two motherfucking straps. I ain't gonna lie you, man. Shit. Put a smile on my face when I kind of uh, pulled up the CNN website and it was like, they went in there to initiate a drug raid. <laughs> and he just started firing off. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> like, bro, I'm not going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> not right That's now. That's pretty much what was on that nigga mind. Like, I'm yeah, not going these niggas out there for like seven, eight hours. A shootout. They stopped shooting. He had two cops trapped in the house with him at one point. <laughs> that shit got wild. That's some movie shit. Yeah, it was a movie That's shit. That's some real life, like, movie. That's some real yeah, life movie Two cops shit. trapped in the crib. They got to break <laughs> in the crib and get them out safely before they... Shit was wild. Then my man called his attorney, which was the smartest thing ever to do. Yeah. Like... They get trapped in the house for seven hours. The best person to call is your lawyer. Like, who thinks of that, though? Apparently, this nigga, he had a whole plan. <laughs> he had enough rounds to have a shootout with the fucking <laughs> North Philadelphia police. Y'all suck. <laughs> I mean, niggas been knew that, though. I'm not from Philly, and I know North Philly police suck. Yeah. North Philly. <laughs> if, you go to, look, if you go to Philadelphia, stay in the tourist areas. Be Please Stay around the city center. Make yourself comfortable there. Because you got Philadelphia and then you got Philly. Mm. Two totally different places. Absolutely. <laughs> Philadelphia is like, you know. The, it's nice. It's got historic it's, shit. It's the bell. Yeah. The stairs Rocky ran up. Mm. All that shit. And then this Philly is like, nigga. You'll die. You might get a cheesesteak. You might get shot. You might. You might get both. <laughs> yeah. You might get, yeah, you might get shot in front of the cheesesteak spot. Of, that's tough. I've seen that. But, so anyway, yeah. I think his name was like Maurice Hill, but, you know. Yeah. Shout out to John Wick. That's what they was calling you on the internet. John Wick. John Wick. That shit was hilarious. I yeah. Cried. So shit, um, transitioning to music. I definitely um, want to give a big up to Teddy Riley. He got a Hollywood. He got a star on the Walk of Fame. That's, that's deserved. He got a star on the Walk of Fame. I didn't. Know I don't that. give a fuck where he's really from. That's Virginia history. Yeah. That's a Virginia legend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I seen him perform a couple months ago. There he yeah. Is. It was a weird performance. I mean, Nigga you're not him. you're not gonna give a fuck because you didn't you weren't there. But he told something in the water to fuck down. For real? Yeah. I can do that. But I mean, shit. I've never seen or heard of Teddy Riley getting on stage and not doing what the fuck he do anyway. Like that's Teddy Riley. 
Well, yeah, he got the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame finally. Um, I wonder if he, uh, never mind. <laughs> I want to know what you was thinking. It's probably some filthy shit having to do with the rap shaking video. <laughs> Absolutely. It definitely has something to do with the rap shaking video. <laughs> I was about to say, I wonder if, you know what I'm saying, like once the, the, the scene was clear, he brought some, some bitches back to the star to, yeah. get, to get busy yeah. on camp, like real quick, just to twerk over top of the star. Yeah, that was the weird shit about his performance. You know Teddy Riley, like 65. Yeah. But this nigga had like 22 year old girls on stage twerking with yeah. him and shit. No, no performance. Then he just, then he just did everybody else's song. <laughs> he didn't do any of his own music. He just did all the songs that he produced and dropped hooks. Oh, he was just, oh, shit. I mean, it was still dope, but. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, nothing made me more uncomfortable than seeing the shit that Smokey Robinson be doing on stage, bro. Yeah. Smokey, like, 90. <laughs> he got to stop, man. I'm going to be Smokey Robinson when I get his age. Yeah. I'm Smokey Robinson now. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, oh, shit, I'm tripping. Happy belated birthday to Nip. Definitely. Happy Definitely belated Nip. birthday to Nip, man. Rest of, rest of heaven, Nip, man. You know what I mean? I still can't believe I'm saying that shit. That shit's like, that wild. That shit still, like, niggas really shot Nip, bro. Yo, when I seen a, um, I was watching Boosie, um, interview with Vlad. You was watching the Boosie topless pool I was, party. I was, <laughs> watching, <laughs> watching, I was watching that, too. <laughs> Nigga, who didn't watch that? I didn't watch it. Why didn't you watch it? Because I had seen Trouble's pool party the week before, and I, I was just pretty... It was, you was overwhelmed. Yeah, I was almost done with pool parties at that point. It was too much at one time. Niggas I'm was over. Boy. This nigga was overwhelmed. Like, I thought I, I was filthy. Like, y'all niggas is bad out here. Man, that pool party. We, we talked about it last week, but that... Yeah. We got to throw a BYOBQ up pool party, man. Y'all would not be violating fresh produce. <laughs> At the BYOB pool. Yeah, y'all will. He's lying. I, I am definitely lying. It <laughs> might not be cucumbers, but you know what I'm saying. You gonna step it up a notch. Whole eggplant. I know man. some of y'all are tight, so you might need like a zucchini or a carrot. So anyway. <laughs> what the fuck is in here? Ooh, shy. <laughs> Got you talking about girls' shallow vaginas. Yeah, what the fuck is in here? Um. Yeah, so he was pretty much saying... He was elaborating on the hypnotized, the hypnotized, hypnotized with hatred shit. Niggas. But yeah, so I didn't know that a little while before that, um, that nigga girl was taking pictures with Nip, and he was like right there. Uh, wow. And like I mean, in Nip. the picture, and in the picture, she's like, like this is the greatest moment of her life. I mean, it's Nip. I mean, of course, but yeah. but now I can see it's why jealousy shit, man. I can see why. Cause it's like, damn, this nigga was my man's. My girl loved this nigga. Yeah, the yeah. world loved this nigga. I hate your shit, man. This nigga don't love me though. Know what I'm saying? So, dog, cause you can't get love when you a snitch, man. Cause dog, that shit was more than I don't care what nobody say. Whatever the conspiracy theories and all that shit is, like that shit was more than just a hit. He kicked that man in his face, yeah, bro. Yeah, he was. It was personal. Like that That's was personal shit. Ain't no hit. I don't give a fuck if the it's government, emotional. whoever, like niggas ain't gonna just kick a nigga. Right. They go, they gonna light them up and they gonna slide. Emo like, emotions are a terrible thing, man. They're a terrible thing. Control your emotions, man. A lot of people die every day because niggas are emotional. Man, that shit ain't cool. Logic over emotion. I try to say that shit all the time, but niggas just don't want to listen. They don't hear. We're gonna copyright and trademark that, by the way. L O E logic over emotion. Absolutely. So. Don't get no ideas. I bet I see y'all using that shit without putting a TM behind it. But uh, let's get into it, man. Wait, no, we had, we had some good music drop this week, though. That's what I was saying. I, yeah. Let's get into the album. Let's, <laughs> let's get into the album. Let's get into the album releases. Let's get into the album releases. We got, um, I've been rocking that currency. I mean, I'm, I wish it was longer. You know what? I'm, I'm about to tell you about the music that dropped, and I ain't even get a chance to listen to none of it for real. Um, Okay. Well, you said the currency should drop the uh, hot August nights. Fire. I believe it. Currency. Is I fire. mean, it's currency consistent, bro. He, he's gonna he's gonna give you what Spitter gonna give you every time. Consistent is an understatement because that nigga drops a mixtape every other week. 
Yeah, and he don't do shit but rap. And like he <laughs> drops a mixtape every other week, and in between the weeks, he this nigga's dropping an album. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's currency giving way too much music for life. That didn't sound it's good. good. You see, you see the shit that he going through? It won't roll it. <laughs> I was trying to get it. To... It broke the shit all up. So we back. <laughs> <laughs> Mad technical difficulties. <laughs> we good. Uh, um, but yeah, I actually, you know what I'm saying? I called Currency at the show. I think it was last year. And The shit with him and Wiz? Yeah. 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 Them niggas together is yeah. just fucking magic anyway. I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of his music is kind of laid back, vibe, chill and smoke. But yeah. He give you mad energy at the show, and I fuck with that. Yeah, I um, Yeah, the album, like I said, that shit was only seven tracks, so I guess technically it was more of an EP. EP. Yeah. But it was like, you got currency on the shit. Yeah. Like, you got seven tracks of just what you would expect from Spitter on a, on a good note. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to check that. I'm going to probably check that tomorrow. Yeah. What else? Uh, QC, Quality Control Music, dropped a compilation album. I didn't see that until, I didn't see that they dropped that until today when I was looking at their Breakfast Club interview. Okay. So I didn't get a chance to hear that yet. It's like 36 tracks. I'm probably not going to get a chance. (laughs) If y'all watch the podcast, y'all know how I feel about long ass (laughs) fucking albums, okay? I'm not listening to the whole fucking album. I seen a couple of songs in there that I wanted to skip through. I I checked out because... So some of them were alright, but not yeah. listening. First of all, I'm not listening to 36 album, 36 songs that sound like Migos. I can't do it. I fucking shoot myself. I can't do it, fam. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I, what I'm probably gonna do with that is I'm gonna look at the track list and I'm gonna pick and choose like the songs that I would just want to hear just off of like who's on it and probably the song title. Nope, you're better than me. If I don't hear it at like the lounge or the club, you just or, ain't gonna. Yeah. Hear it. Or if somebody don't get in my car and be like, yo, this song is fire. I'm not listening to it. I might. I should. We should for just, you know, for podcasting, but it's not my... Podcast? I'm not doing an album review. That shit is long. We don't have enough. <laughs> I don't think we got enough time to review that shit. We gonna, nah, we're going to do that shit. We're reviewing the QC album next week, all 36 tracks. Gosh, oh, man. We're going to break it down bar for bar of what we can understand, because that shit... Damn, I think I'm... I, don't th- I think I don't feel good. That shit gave me a headache, man. I think I might not be here next, but I think you gonna I'm put Quavo on every fucking song. No, nah, but Quality Control in real life, they got a tough record label. They have a tough record label. So this shit just gonna keep. Well, fuck it, man. We, you know, we just <laughs> shoot what we got. Oh, <laughs> well, um, yeah. Um, I'm pulling it up now to see. Who else dropped? Oh, Thug Drop. Thug did drop. Thug drop. That's I didn't. I only heard half of it, but the half that I heard was, I mean, it's Thug, man. You know what to expect. That shit was fire. The half that I did hear, singing ass nigga. Yeah, Thug, Thug tough. I didn't fuck with Thug too much when he first came out, and then uh, he eventually grew on me. But Thug tough. Yeah, no, he he definitely evolved. Like yeah. as an artist, like you can definitely tell. Like you can definitely see the growth in him, like in his music and shit. I really QC really got a tough lineup between Migos, Cardi, Lil Baby, Rich the Kids, City Girls, Lil Boat, Free JT, Free JT, definitely Free JT. But yeah, got a tough label. I'm sure that mixtape probably got some bangers on it. I'm just it'll give me a headache listening to this shit. So. Yeah, but do me a favor if y'all listen to the QC album, let me know what tracks on the QC album are fire so I can. Yeah. Specifically, go Matter listen fact, to those yes, tracks. Do that in the comments below. That's how you say it. Yeah, on, that's on. how you do it on YouTube. In, in the, the comments, comments below, you gotta put something across the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna have an arrow pointing down and shit. In the comments below, put your favorite track on the QC album. And save me the trouble of having to listen to 36 tracks. Please. So what if it's just one track, like 100 comments, which is the same, the one song? That'd be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Out of 36 songs, people like one. Nah, but that mean that shit really a banger. Yeah. Means you really got a banger on your hands. Damn, somebody else dropped. Um, let me see. QC Thug. Spitter. I'm tripping. Somebody else. Snoop. Snoop. Snoop, yeah. I'm Snoop dropped. I'm tripping. I didn't dropped. get to hear that. I didn't listen did to that. Did not get to hear that yet. Is it is it a regular rap album from Snoop this yeah. time? Okay. <laughs> so you know this one to be a Rastafari and he wanted to be a Christian. He, I don't know, he was doing a lot. Yeah, he... um. 
I was about to lie, like he's really rapping up here. I ain't even heard the shit yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just need it to be a regular rap album. Nah, I think it's um, I think it's just it's, it's Snoop rapping again, cause that um, the, the joint that we were talking about last episode is up there. The um, let bygones be bygones. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dedicated to Snoop, so that's up there, and that was a a rapidy rap hip hop record. Yeah. Um, I know next week we we'll get a chance to listen to it. Jeezy dropping next week. T L one hundred four, and we're probably gonna do a. He better impress me because his last couple albums. Oh, we gonna do an album review on that. Yeah, so he better he better impress me with the CM104. I'm hoping he does. And we definitely gonna uh, either Jeezy gonna love us or hate us because we gonna tell the truth. Facts. <laughs> we gonna I'm not gonna yeah, lie because yeah. niggas a celebrity. Like, yeah, that's I'm not to say that Jeezy don't have mad past bangers, but these past couple have been. Yeah. And I need some bangers from Jeezy because I expect better. So, I think um, I think Jeezy gonna I think he gonna deliver. I think he gonna give us something. Close so. up. So, so that's, that's about as, it as far as music music goes. Let's get to it. Who we talking about first? Nikki versus the world. It ain't, man. Y'all leave Nikki alone, man. Nikki versus the fucking world, man. She spazzed on Joe twice. Cut week. his mic off. He definitely cut the nigga mic off. She, did she spaz on Joe or did she just pull a Joe on Joe? Cause Joe does the same shit that Nikki yeah. did like to everybody else. Yeah. Joe would definitely over talk the shit out of somebody. And I you know what I'm saying? They said she was tripping, she was bugging. She just sounded like a regular a regular New York chick talking to me. Yeah. You know no. I mean? So it didn't sound Nikki. like she was spazzing or she was just she was she was mad, but I'm not I can't say that she didn't have a right to be mad. She called the nigga on some shit she thought was bullshit. Yeah. I mean, if a, if a motherfucker call you and say you on drugs, right? I mean, putting it out to the world and say, yo, Kyle is on drugs. It's wild. Like, it's a wild you're not going to be mad. Yeah. Even, I, even if it is true. Yeah. Bitch, I'm <laughs> <my fucking goodness. laughs> like, let me pop these Percocets in peace, man. Yeah, like, even if it is true, like, bitch, I got to... I got a whole persona to, to, to keep up. I got so, this, this, you know what I'm saying? But, so, all right, so let's be real, right? I watched the Free Meat documentary. Yeah. And Meat, you know, said he went through his little addiction stage. Yeah. First of all, the amount of drugs this nigga was popping was wild. He said he was doing yeah. like 10 per like 30. 10 perks a day. 10 per 30s a day. Every day. That's wild. I don't know how this nigga's still alive. Yeah, that's but. wild. <laughs> and you mean to tell me you popping 10 per 30s a day and your girl not taking none of them? And this nigga's really like, he's still amongst the living? Yeah. He, he, he's super tough for that shit. Yeah. He, um, you know your girl getting high with you. Yeah. It might have been a Bobby Whitney situation. I'm sure. Would she? No, I don't, I don't think she introduced him to it. I no. Ain't, I ain't going to put that in the air. Yeah. But no, I mean, like, but Nikki says in in her music that she pops pills. Yeah. She has a song called Pills and Potion. What, are, what good artist isn't on drugs? I don't want to hear artists unless they're on drugs. Like I don't do drugs. I said, what good? <laughs> no, <I'm fine. laughs> what good artists? Hey, don't worry about <laughs> it. This, this record coming next week. <laughs> nah, nah. We opening the show now, but yeah. Now, nah, I mean, I got bars, B. I would have said chance to rapper, but you said what good artists? Yeah. So, I don't. Yeah. Nah, man. Like Mary J. Blige. I, I don't want to hear Mary J. Blige when she's sober. I mean, nah. she's still great, but I need Mary J. Blige on cocaine, like fresh out of a relationship, heartbroken. Yeah. Nigga, even Michael Jackson was on drugs. Yeah. And this nigga's the goat. So. Prince. Can't, All yeah. them niggas I knew like Prince was yeah. doing cocaine, and it's okay. Like, so I don't judge nobody for being on drugs. It's just when that shit start to make you look crazy and you do crazy shit. But she, the reason she spazzed on Joe, you know what I'm saying? Essentially, she felt like Joe called her a liar twice. Yeah. Like, he gave his opinion on something. No. She came out and said what the facts were to her. Yeah. Know? And then he still was like, yeah, fuck that. That's not the truth. Now, one thing I do, uh, one thing I did laugh at, though, is she was like, um, she was like, yo, you said such and such. That nigga Joe was like, yo, I never said I that. I never said that. She played the clip. Just, hold on. No, play the song. Play the song. <laughs> she played that shit word, word for word. word. It was what nigga said. <laughs> Joy say like that's what I'm saying. She yeah. wasn't wrong. Yeah. She came with facts. Like And then she was I watched the the second interview where she went on the Joe Button podcast. I caught some of that. 
And she was just pretty much, you know what I'm saying, again, said the same thing. I feel like you called me a liar. And at some point, I feel like I have to defend myself. Like, you don't take that shit that seriously because you just making a statement. She's like, but that shit is directed toward me, so I, f- I have a right to feel some type of way, and yeah. I have a right to defend myself. No, and then you got to think, this nigga Joe is so used to just... Saying shit. And being, like, in a negative light that he don't know how to... <laughs> you know, he really don't give a fuck. It don't... So, and even, um, because I was, you know, we, you know, watching a little bit of his podcast. Yeah. And he was trying to tell her, like, I know, I mean, I don't give a fuck, but... And he's yeah. asking her, and she's like, but nigga, I do. Yeah, that's what you're trying to tell Like, I don't give a fuck. You shouldn't give a fuck either. Like, <laughs> oh, nigga. like that's not how this shit works. He's saying you shouldn't care what people think, like, because he almost said that you shouldn't care what people think because you're a celebrity. Like, that's stupid. And she was like, yeah. nigga, I'm still a person at the end of the day. Yeah, and she, a woman. And, and she even said some shit like that. She yeah. was like, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I told, when I called you on your bullshit and I played the shit back, you couldn't even tell me, like, you yeah. know what? I did say that shit, my fault. Or this is what I meant at the time. Like, I said it, but this is... She was like, and as a woman, I need that. Yeah. She was like, you know women need that. Which was... I thought that was a real-ass statement. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. But I... Man... How you feel... Because I, I want to stay on Nikki. I'm, I, I want to get this... I would love uh, to stay on Nikki. That shit. Stay in Nikki. I'd like yeah. sleep in that shit. Uh, anyway, I would definitely like, leave it in. There is no pulling out of that. I'm sorry, nigga got a husband, and apparently so, her husband like to threaten people, and I ain't for the shit. We are slowly building a list of people who are never coming on this show. I mean, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to come, don't fuck go. But no, um, so the reason why I said Nikki versus the world, because she, um, obviously, she has a few, I won't call them beefs. I would say maybe only one of them is a beef because only one shit actually almost got physical. But she, like, you heard the shit she said about Ross. Now what she said about she Ross? She told him sit his fat ass down. I, <laughs> I mean, Ross also said in the verse, I told Meek I wouldn't trust Nikki. Yeah, but that's when she was like, yo, so you gonna wait two years to, but I'm trying to figure out why she that's just, not what, she just now she, addressing it. Cause that but she, she gotta realize Ross also cleared it up because I saw his Breakfast Club interview. Yeah, and he was like, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that I ain't trusted the whole time, but when that shit popped off between him and Drake, yeah, that, like y'all, this is she in between your, your best friend, yeah, best friend, and, and your yeah, yeah, like, yeah, so and they beefing, so like, what the fuck, yeah. like, because I know a nigga, me personally, like, nigga, you my girl, I don't fuck with this nigga, you don't fuck, you don't with fuck with this nigga, nigga. Like, that's yeah. it, like, ain't no fucking, yeah, and if you still fuck with this nigga, I like that shit iffy, so you made your choice. So I understand it's Ross being nah, his man, like fuck is iffy. If you still fucking with this nigga, I oh, don't yeah. know you made you've made your choice. So now, I mean, in regular people life, it's a little different for them because they on a record label together and shit. Yeah, but and then again, people say that shit be lying. They be right back with their girl, like baby, I told you to stay away from this nigga. You, <laughs> not me, <I'm> just <laughs> people niggas, in general, niggas, niggas in general, not me. I tell you to stay away from somebody. You gotta stay the fuck away. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just like, and then, of course, the whole Trina, Megan Thee Stallion, all that shit, it's just like, think, everything is yeah, 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 at, yeah. at one fucking time. Like, but, and the crazy shit is, yo, I don't think Nicki wrong in none of these situations. Like, Trina's nah. can't with mad because she ain't push her album like that. I did a verse on the album. I don't have to promote your yeah, album like, like that. Like, I've never promoted any other one I, of your fucking albums. I did my job. I gave you the verse. The verse was, I don't know if the verse was fire, but... You know what I'm saying? I gave you I gave you the verse, you put the shit on the album, yeah. you push the album, that's what you're marketing people for, that's what you're marketing label for. If I happen to say something about it, cool, but it's cause they know what Nikki's Nikki's platform is. Yeah. Not it's, saying that Trina don't have one, cause yeah. you know what I'm saying? Trina's it's Trina. De- yeah, but it's yeah. definitely Nikki's definitely a lot better. Yeah, but Nikki got motherfucking overseas, she got white yeah. America, like Nikki has so. she has the platform that a lot of motherfuckers wish they had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I really think people paint her out to be a bad guy, or is she not? No, nah, man. Or maybe I just like to play devil's advocate now is, you know. I understand why motherfuckers do shit. I love you, Nikki. For facts. Kyle's a barb though, so he's definitely gonna This nigga just called me Maul. That's terrible. <laughs> Don't put me in that category. I'm <laughs> definitely not a barb. You're not a barb, bro? If being a barb will allow me to fuck Nikki, then I'm a barb. Oh, nigga, I'll be president of the yeah. Sign me up. <laughs> That's the case. Sign me up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, 
nothing really, nothing else happened. Um, as far as she go, the um, the Megan Thee Stallion shit, like I don't know why they made that such a big deal. Is like she did a fucking song with a hot artist. Like who doesn't do that? Yeah. Niggas don't care when Drake do it or when Hov do it or when B do it or when any fucking other artist yeah. on the planet do it. But when Nicki do it, she clout chases. Yeah. Like that's, I think that was corny. Yeah. That people said that. It's uh, just like nigga, if, if 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 I get in the industry and nigga I want to do a song with Hov and he's willing to do it, I'm gonna do this yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, I don't. You know what I'm saying it's just like you probably don't know what how much that help Megan's career. The song was trash, by the way. Y'all said that shit last week. I did listen to it. The song wasn't good. Yeah. Um, but regardless, you know what I'm saying they still linked up with the three names on it. I would I expected that shit to go a totally different. Yeah, yeah. Y'all right. They definitely had Ty Dolla singing the hook like a bitch. <laughs> Real last nigga give a fuck about these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and I fuck with Ty too. That shit was sad. Yeah, yeah. though he's one of like my favorite. I don't know if I should call him an R and B because he's a singing ass nigga, but he's not really an R and B like artist. But he's an R and B artist. The, the way he was singing that hook, I feel like Nicki and Meg ran a train on him. <laughs> I'm jealous of that. <laughs> no, not 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 in the good sense. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no sir. Yeah, That'd be a hell of a threesome, though. Boy, Jesus Christ. Nigga might not make it. I'm trying to <laughs> die. I'm gonna die in that thing. Nigga might not make it. I'm taking me a, a, a gas station dick pill. <laughs> a Viagra, popping a Rhino 9000 or something. I'm gonna stand up in them things. Man, you gonna need something. <laughs> and Megan, she. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, I mean. Salute to Nikki, man. I, I think they she get way more flack than she deserves. Facts. I mean, Facts. I understand that, you know, sometimes she does do shit and then play the victim or whatever the case. But at the same time, it's like, I, all I want Nikki to remember is you fucking Nikki Minaj. And she know that shit. But she need to start See, you, acting you, like that shit. Do you hear how many times she referred to herself in the third person? Yeah. Or oh, Nikki Tanya Mirage? Yeah. Right. But that's what I'm saying. But then, she, but she don't act like she knows she's fucking Nicki Minaj, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because at the end of the day, she's still a person. Yeah, no, she's I still a Nicki Italian Mirage. You yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? Before she Nicki, so she's still a little girl from Queens who was rapping on the Come Up DVDs in the bathroom. You're having a lot of technical issues today, brother. What's... Man, you set this shit up wrong. <laughs> Kyle set everything up today, y'all, and he fucked it, fucked shit up. It sounds all right. But yeah, man, so uh, let's get to it. To GOAT? Let's get to it. The greatest of all time. Hold on, before we do that, <laughs> let me pour a little bit of this motherfucking <laughs> douce. Do douce in the cup. Let me pour a little bit of this douce. I had to go south on niggas and put it in a mason jar. Take some more yak. Pour a little bit of this motherfucking douce. Salute the hoe. Salute to Jay Z. Sean Carter. I'm not even call you Jay Z anymore. I'm just gonna refer to you as Sean Carter. Yeah, we gotta call you by your business mm -hmm. name. We gotta call you by your business name. Man, I'm not a business man. I'm a business man. Let me handle my, my business. business. Damn. Damn, damn y'all leave that man the fuck alone. He, he, so you, you just telling your what I you had mean? the apple juice, bro. Oh, you just yeah. don't have the apple juice. Like, that hurts my feelings. All right, so I'm going to put y'all on. Cognac and apple juice is one of the greatest mixes ever. So if you're drinking Hennessy, you're drinking Remy, you're drinking Douce, and you want to mix that shit with something, grab some apple juice. This shit fire. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. I'll let you kick it off. Mr. Sean Clark. Let you going to let me kick it off. This is how we're going to kick it off. I'm going to let you kick it off. Let's get yeah. busy. Let me recite some. Let me pull these up because I can remember when the song is on. But this man told y'all a long time ago. Said a long time ago. I put dollars on mine. Ask Columbine. When the Twin Towers dropped, I was the first in line. Donating proceeds off every ticket sold when I was out on the road and it's how you judge ho no. no. And I supposed to be absorbed myself. Every time there's a tragedy, I'm the first one to help. 
they call me this misogynist, but they don't call me the dude that takes dollars and gives gifts to the projects. These dudes is all politics, deposit and check. Look, man, your nigga been fucking telling y'all for years <laughs> that he's a philanthropist, man. He's not gonna make no bad moves on black people's behalf. He hasn't done it in the past, y'all. He hasn't. And I can't, I've been waiting for somebody to show me where he has, and he has. The fucked up thing is, people just love to hate hoes so much that even if you present facts to them, them niggas is like, yo, fuck those facts. I'm not hearing that shit. I literally had a debate with a dude on Facebook. And he was like, Jay-Z is not a philanthropist because he didn't take care of home first. He didn't take care of Marcy. So I had to break it down to him. First, I had to show the nigga the definition of philanthropist. Nowhere in the definition of philanthropist does it say that you have to take care of where you're from first. Doesn't say that at all. So, nowhere. Nowhere. So then I proceeded to, to break this nigga down with facts of things that Jay-Z does in Brooklyn. Let me pull these facts up for you guys. The Sean Carter Foundation, every year, they do a toy drive and they drop meals off around Christmas time. In Marcy. In Marcy. In Marcy. That's it. That's what happens. The, the, the Marcy that he grew up in. That's that's the only Marcy I know. The Marcy that he don't do shit for. Yeah, that's okay. the Marcy. Okay. He Next. For. Okay. So, um, he also has a Marcy youth basketball program. A what they, youth? A Marcy youth basketball. A Marcy program. youth. Yeah, okay. Marcy okay. Youth. Like so not Brooklyn. Not that's, that's also Marcy. That's in Marcy. The Marcy he grew up in. Yeah. Okay. The same one. Bad, the same. Bad, bad, cool, bad. cool. 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 So. Um, he got financial literacy workshops for inner cities to help kids. Like, man, come on, man. Like, that's just at home. We didn't even discuss all the other shit that he does. Like, yeah. The shit he did in Africa. The shit he did for Flint. The shit he did for Puerto Rico. The shit he did. Yeah, like, I mean, the list goes fucking on, man. The man is for the people. Is he going to make money while he does it? Yeah, because he's a fucking intelligent businessman. You, you don't know, become a billionaire by not making money doing shit. But see, my thing is, what I don't understand... And what I'll never understand is why the fuck does it matter if a person is making money as long as what the person is doing is good? If the, what the person is doing is a good thing, why do you care? If why could I not profit? Yeah. So it's like, so what if, all right, so what if I just happen to find a way to motherfucking erase the student debt, but I get paid to do it? Like, niggas is going to be like, he only did it because he got paid. Who fucking cares, nigga? I just deleted student debt. Like, you, you, you more that. worried about me getting paid than... <laughs> the fucking students people who try to cure cancer on, they get paid for yeah. that shit fam like you make money off of the shit that you love to do and fortunately he it happens to be good yeah. shit like it's a positive thing that fucking doctor only cured that man of cancer cause he got paid for it see how dumb that shit sound we got so into the shit we didn't even really tell him what the issue was so Jay Z signed a deal with the NFL um supposedly it gives him pretty much creative control over their major musical performances like the halftime show also part of that deal is he has a major input on their social justice reform. So the NFL, you know, with all this bullshit that was going on with Kaepernick kneeling, and they, they formed a deal with the Players Coalition. So there's a couple of NFL players that represent social justice reform. And they're going to donate a bunch of money into urban communities, into the hood and shit like that. Yeah. So, but these billionaires don't know where the fuck to send this money at. So no. from... From my understanding is, from what I and I may be wrong, but this is what I read, he gets to select the artists that get to perform. In turn, he also gets to select where the money goes for their social justice reform, or he has a major input on it. Which is smart because one thing about Hove, he always has his ear to the street. Always. Like Anybody who's been around him, not saying I have been around him, but I'm speaking on what people have spoken on yeah. about being around him. Like, they say, this nigga Hove is like, he's up on everything. Everything. Like, all the current, like, the shit that you think, because, you know, he's not really on social media, none of that. So, they thinking Hove is in the dark. Nah, this nigga is really aware yeah. of every fucking thing going on. So, I'm like, would you rather have a bunch of millionaires or billionaires claiming to throw their money at social justice reform and not really knowing where the fuck is going and not putting it in the right places yeah or would you rather them give it to this genius black man who's proving these for the people yeah. and let him allocate those dollars that makes sense to me yeah so who gives a fuck if he happens to line his pockets in the process as long as as long as 
the, shit, still that, the, the shit that he set out to do gets accomplished. Yeah. That's what, like, everybody's like, oh, he betrayed Colin. Bro, I don't think he betrayed Colin Kaepernick. I don't when, think so either. When Kaepernick took that, I almost called it hush money again. I'm going yeah. to stop calling it that. But, dog, uh, at one point, when Kaepernick was first doing the collusion case, he was like, yo, I'm exposing all of this. Yeah. do 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 Everything is getting exposed. I'm bringing everything to the light. No, he took the money and signed a fucking confidentiality clause. What that sound like to you? That sounds like hush, hush money. money. Right? It's hush money, V. Know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, we get it. Okay. And I'm not mad at Kaepernick for taking the money. No, no. Take the fucking money. money. Like, Wait, too. Yeah, take the money, V. Because even if I did play, ain't no guarantee my contract going to be <laughs> nowhere near what the fuck they yeah, offered me. You know so. what I'm saying? But it's like, it's, everybody's more so worried about Cap still not having a job. But it's like, my nigga, he's making more from Nike in that settlement than he probably oh, ever would have. This shit was so field. wild. Like, so he got the settlement. The shit that Nike did was real slick because Nike pretty much paid him through the NFL with the money that he got from money from the NFL. So <laughs> he's he's winning. The nigga may not be working. Um I I I did see a lot of people say that they called Jay Z up in a lot, which I haven't listened to their official press release. He said that he talked to Kaepernick about the deal. Now whether it was before or after the deal was already done remains to be I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But see so, as far as uh me personally, um all I have personally seen of somebody denouncing that was just Kaepernick girl. Yeah. The chick from in the, uh, uh, yeah, MTV, yeah. Uh, Nessa. She's the only person I've seen say he didn't speak to Cap. Yeah. But it's just like, yo, I mean. He I'm, didn't, first of all, he doesn't need to. He's a grown ass man. Um, who's making a, a big business move, who in effect is taking over the work that Kaepernick yeah. was trying to get done anyway. Um, so I don't think he really necessarily needs to. And a lot of people were just mad, you know, say he, he was boycotting the NFL last year. He told him no, he wasn't going to do the halftime show. And that's because Kaepernick hadn't gotten paid. He hadn't taken the settlement. They hadn't, yeah, they hadn't he was, admitted to shit. He like, was really just blackballed yeah, at, that at that point. point yeah. like, it was nothing going on. So it's just like, but then, I, like, like I said, half the people that are talking shit, talking down on it, I don't think they read nothing about no. what it is. Because it, it's an intricate deal, you know what I'm saying? You got to... But... What makes me is it's so stupid. Like Eric Reed, the nigga who was kneeling with Cap, he had got blackballed for a minute. He's he, playing. Though. He jumped. He was quick, <laughs> he jumped out and said something about Jay doing that deal, right? But my nigga, you're back in the NFL. That makes no fucking sense. So this man can't do business with the same company that you're getting checks from. That's stupid. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like so you, you were that serious, serious, working for them. Yeah, like, if you were if you were that serious about Cap getting a job, you wouldn't have went back till Cap yeah. got signed either. You would have been like, yo, I'm not I'm not playing till Cap get signed. I mean, they probably would have told him, okay. <laughs> they told you to do this. And like, he know that. Like, my nigga, you know the, the, the draft is coming up, right? You know there's like 100 players with your position. Like, we're going to draft one of them. But he's playing. I don't – has Aaron Reed really missed, missed the whole season? Like, I, think, the, I think – I don't think so. I don't think no, he, I think he might have missed the whole one. season. I don't know. I got to look that up. But So, I mean, I'm not sure. That's why I put it in the question yeah, form. Sure, yeah. But I, I don't – Feel like he missed the whole season. Uh, I mean, even if you did, you still after after you got part yeah. of your settlement money too, because you were a part of the settlement too. You took a job back with these yeah. people. So if he, it was really fuck these people, you should. And his, his excuse is, "I'm be a pain in their ass." I mean, you could have been a pain in their ass from outside the NFL. Yeah. So no, nah, pretty much what he did after Cap got blackballed, he went in the office and was like, "That won't me cussing, mama. Yeah. It was him cussing. <laughs> I won't cussing with him, yeah. mama." Can I come back and can I play the game? Nah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It was just pretty much like, yeah. Here's what niggas hate. Here's the conversation that niggas really hate to have. Cat might not be signed because the niggas' stats aren't good. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bro. We're not going I know it pains you as a 49ers fan. And don't get me wrong. His stat, he, he, he had two good seasons for y'all. The year y'all went to the Super Bowl. And I think y'all but see the, the 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 one season that he um where all the shit start happening and he sat out. He didn't get benched because he sucked. Remember he broke his pinky or fucked his thumb or some shit up before the kneeling and shit. Before the kneeling, that season he was fighting for a job against Blaine Gabbert because his his hand he fucked his hand up. I don't care about the reason. Blaine Gabbert is trash. It's trash. <laughs> and the fact that the headlines were 
Kind of like having a nigga in conversation with Blaine Gabbert for the job. It's like, <laughs> nigga, all, but, yeah, all but, his, going down but his hand was fucked up, and he he didn't tell him. This is this is the article I read. It right. could have been bullshit. No, I mean it might be true. You know what I'm saying? So fact check anything that we ever say. I'm gonna disclaimer real quick. Anything that we ever say, fact check us. Don't tell me I'm wrong unless you have facts to prove I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't hear that shit. I typically don't tend to speak on emotion or. I do get my opinion because that's, that's why I say do. fact check us. Don't just fucking mm-hmm. your opinion. No matter how emotionally attached to it you are. It's not a fact. Logic over emotion. Yeah. So but he, come he, with come with fucking resources and not fucking the grapevine yeah, or whatever yeah. one of them satire sites and shit. <laughs> That's not a fucking source. I could make one of them shits up. But yeah, fact check this. But Wikipedia yeah, so, is also Wikipedia is good, but it's not an accurate source either. No, because have you ever edited a Wikipedia page? No, I thought about that shit though. I've done it. It's childish shit. <laughs> some childish shit to do. Bro, you shit. just get drunk, you get a little, you get bored and shit, and you see some shit on Wikipedia you don't like, you so you just change, change it. it, yeah. It's wild. But nah, man, like, let's talk about it, so, again, because I like to come with facts. In his, what, six, seven years in the NFL, he has a 50, he has a 60% completion rate. That's not good. In like, the NBA, that's great. Yeah, in the NBA. And the NFL for a quarterback, that's backup at most. <laughs> in the NBA, nigga, you shooting 60 from the field? That's amazing. The most yards he's ever thrown for in a season is 3,300. That's good. Mm-hmm. For, for a quarterback of his caliber, you forget how many rushing yards he 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 does. He did have some rushing yards, so I would give. So he's not he's not a Tom Brady. And he pretty much had a two to one touchdown to interception ratio, which is about standard. Yeah. So I mean, but then that, to to be fair, he but had, the last two th- those are his career stats. His last two years, he played nine games. He put seventeen hundred yards in that season. I guess he might have got hurt. I told you he he, was, yeah. he fucked his hand up and and in the very last year, twelve games he threw for twenty two he threw twenty two hundred yards in twelve games. B, it's trash. Who they it's play just, against? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know niggas, both, <laughs> niggas want to defend yeah. it, by, but who they play against, bro? And in both of those last two seasons, he completed less than sixty percent of his passes, fifty nine percent of his passes. Like those aren't good numbers, B. They're not. I'm sorry to say it. So that, and I'm not saying that that's, don't get me wrong, I still believe Kaepernick is blackballed from the NFL. Yeah. However, his stats not being good makes it easier for them to do that shit. But, okay. That's um, why Eric Reed got a job, because Eric Reed was still good. Yeah, no, and I, I definitely can't shit on Eric Reed, because he, he gave the 49 to some of their most highlight yeah. defensive plays. I never shit on his talent. But it's a, like, um, okay, so... Right now, do you feel like, so there's 32 teams. You feel like there's 32 starting quarterbacks better than Kaepernick right now? You feel like every starting quarterback is better than Cap. He's not good enough to have no motherfucking starting job on any team above any of these motherfuckers. I really can't think of a team that has... I, I, I might go out on the limb and say that. All right, let me see. I don't. I don't I'm not buying it. So I'm about to. Um, I'm about to I can't. I really. I legit. As far as starting quarterbacks go, I legitimately can't think of a team that doesn't have a quarterback that was better than Kaepernick. A backup quarterback is a different ball game. So I would definitely give him second string. All right. So I already know. I'm just going to go down the list. It ain't in no particular order. Okay. These are all the starting quarterbacks right now. Of course, some of them are going to be clear cut. Of, duh. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, Matt Ryan, of course. Yeah. Eli. Eli has two Super Bowl championships under him. And if you look at Eli, and I had this conversation with my homeboy Jason the other day. Eli's stats are better than. I'm talking about right now. Like, this, like. Eli's stats are better than, better than Conor Cavaliers. Eli has a better arm. Phillip Rivers. Quick cut. Dak Prescott, arguable. Yeah, I think Dak. 
Yeah, it's arguable. arguable. I think I think they could be inter. I can think they could be intertwined. Yeah, I mean, Jack has the young. He has the age on yeah. him. You know what I'm saying so. It's but then again, I, I wouldn't expect because Dak is their guy. Yeah. So, so but Cowboy is not going to get rid of Dak for. Yeah. And Jerry Jones already he put the disclaimer out last year. Any one of you motherfucking niggers kneel. He put, the, he put the R on that ass. He put the R on that yeah, shit too. Niggers. I'm Anyone fired of you niggers ass. kneel, I'm putting you getting fired. Fired at that. Um, Deshaun Watson. Definitely. Jimmy, Jameis Winston. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jameis has a better arm. He just throws more interceptions. I'm gonna skip Aaron Rodgers because it's like nigga. Yeah. He's he's better than half this list. More than half this list. Andrew Luck. Yeah, definitely. Ben Roethlisberger. Definitely. Legendary. Tom Brady, obviously. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes, obviously. Yeah. Russell Wilson. Obviously. Derek Carr. Yeah. Drew Brees. Definitely. Joe Flacco. Joe's getting old, but I still think Joe's a better quarterback than Kyle. He almost had Joe Flacco. Well, I ain't going to say he almost had his job, but he was almost his backup. Yeah. The reason should have been. Really that, about that, to sign that was a, that's a whole other argument that, that we missed. about to fucking <laughs> sign him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I told you the strain is good. Um, <laughs> let's pause that list right there, though. That's a whole other topic that nobody talks about. The fact that he wasn't black. I mean, he wasn't completely blackballed because yeah. Baltimore offered him a contract. He just didn't like the contract. Yeah. So, and then his girl got on Twitter and. But my nigga quit. Like nobody ever yeah. says that shit. He opted out of his contract. He opted, when, yeah. But no, San Francisco wasn't was. gonna let him go because at that point it definitely would have made it look like collusion. Like they said they yeah. stood behind him and then they let him go. But then at the same time, and I'm not just saying you can look it up. Like the 49ers had. They was the only team that was standing behind all that shit still. Yeah. Like, the season after, like, when Cap was gone and all that, like. So, if I quit my job and I sue my job, you think my job is going to hire me back? No, I, be- I guarantee you can't motherfucking uh, go there on Monday. That shit doesn't, like, <laughs> I'm going to apply for rehire. They're looking at me like, you fucking stupid. Yeah, it's just like. So. But, yeah, that's the thing. So, like, his girl jumped on Twitter and was like, yeah, that contract is dumb or whatever the fuck she said. She and didn't make like, it no better. No, she fucked it up worse. Hey, y'all gonna hate me for this. Ladies. Yeah, I love y'all. Learn to hey. shut the fuck up sometimes. He stay stay the fuck in your place. That's right. Like, <laughs> stay the fuck in your place. It's not I know you wanna have your man's back and that's cool, but there's there's some times where you don't need to jump the fuck in, you need to sit down. Like if I'm getting jumped, I don't ever want my girl to jump in. Cause at that point, it goes for me taking an ass whooping to yeah. somebody having to die. And then, because the nigga done broke my girl jaw. Yeah, you hit my girl broke jaw. Now, I, I could have took my ass whooping, but now I have to kill somebody. So, if, sometimes you got to learn to stay the fuck in your place and mind your business. So, but continue that. You still got that list pulled up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, continue with that list, because. Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles is no longer a starting quarterback. Nick Foles has his job. That is correct. He's, he's now a backup for Marcus Mariota. So, this list ain't updated. This, this is pretty much updated. That's Case Keenum. I don't think Case is starting anywhere. Ooh, where's Case? Last, what I'm looking at right now, he starts for the Broncos. Yeah, no, that's not updated. So, Case, I don't think Case is starting anywhere. Matt Stassel. Yep. Jared Goff. Yep. Kirk Cousins. Yep. Nick Foles. Yep. Lamar Jackson. Yep. Mitchell Trubisky. Yep. I'm not even gonna say the last one because I'm. I don't feel like hearing your fucking mouth. Yeah, we know. We know Carson's better. <laughs> Name a fucking question. So yeah, legitimately, you just went through the starting two, the 32 starting quarterbacks in the NFL, and he's not better than any of them. We don't know that though. I do know that. I mean, going by his old stats, I guess we could say that. No, I watch football. I know that. But we haven't seen him play in two years. So that, that's some worse. <laughs> You're not talking about argument. Don't get me wrong. Again, I like Cat, man. I appreciate what he did for the 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 community. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the sacrifice the, yeah, he the made. Sacrifice like, he made. Like, that shit was dope. It took a lot of balls to do that shit. You lost a lot for a period of time, and then you gained a lot back from it. So you, I feel like you got your payment as far as that goes. And now the work that you wanted to be done is still being able to be continued. You know what I'm saying? You wanted the NFL to take a stance on that shit. They not gonna completely take a stance on it, but they'll throw some money at that shit, which is cool. If that's all we can get from it, if you, you want to yeah. throw millions of dollars at this shit, they almost up to like twelve million dollars that they've thrown into this program over the past year, a year and a half. So I'm cool with that because it's gonna help, regardless of how you feel about the situation. When the money gets down and these kids get to go to these football camps or 
know what I'm saying? Like like we said with Jay-Z, they get yeah. to go to college. He may not be paying all day tuition, but is he helping? Yeah. And that's you know what's man? important. It, it gets you, it's a step. You know what I'm saying? So regardless of how we feel about it as people, the people that this money is actually touching appreciate that shit, yo. Like, what you got over there, man? What you mean? What you got over there? In this cup? What? what? Oh, I ain't even going to look outside with me. <laughs> but that's what you got to, you got to stop being small minded, yo. Like, people are so small-minded, and they look at the small picture. You got to look at the big picture. And, and again, regardless of how you feel about the situation, the people that it's helping feel totally different. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. But like I said, half of the people that fucking are mad at Ho don't even know why they mad. They just mad yeah. because they see that the rest of social media is telling them to be mad. Y'all niggas is mad at Ho, y'all are still watching the fucking NFL. Like... Y'all niggas is ass backwards. Cat dog. That's what I call you. Ass backwards. Just Secretly though. Or they're watching on the fire stick. Oh yeah, so it don't count toward ratings. <laughs> so you still love this shit. That's what I I mean. I did that probably like two games. I never boycotted the NFL because it wasn't the NFL's problem. The NFL no, didn't give but, a fuck but until then, it started affecting their money. Yeah, Real, realistically. Because so I, I Scott had been kneeling yeah. and shit, and he was doing it. He was sitting on the bench. He, but once he talked to that soldier, and that shit started affecting their money, they was like, whoa, yeah. bro. And But they, but then, yeah, because their endorsements and all that shit started. And if you know the NFL, it, their rule is they protect the shield. Yeah, and that's it. That's it. And and one thing about Goodell. He going to protect the shield. <laughs> He has died for that He'll shit. He'll die for that shit. Like, <laughs> dad, Rodney Gennell give his life for that shit. He gonna, he'll die for that motherfucker any day of the week. So, but I can't be mad at him because he hold that same energy across the board, yo. As much shit as people talk about Goodell and how, I'm not saying his decisions are right, but he keep that same energy. Yeah. And they, um, I'm about to find it. Jay-Z's gonna pop up a hundred times before I find the actual link, but... Before, and he should, because J.D. is fucking amazing. Of course. Shout out the hoes. Shout out the hoes. We ain't even say that this yeah, week. I'm this is like it, the big week to say yeah, it. Yeah, shout the hoes, man. Shout out the, the, the hoes. But no, so, what was this? Um, I think it was 2017 or early 2018. When they had already put up, I think it was, I'm trying to find the exact number. I think it was like $90 million dollars. Toward social justice, Yo, social, social injustice shit. Like, but that's ninety million dollars, and we have no idea where they put this money at. No, and now we got somebody yeah. to be like, "Hey, here's where this money going. This is where we're gonna put it at." Yeah, it, and of course, niggas don't again look. They looking at the small picture. This is Jay Z's step toward being an NFL owner. And I said that shit the day after it happened. Apparently, TMZ recently reported the shit that it's coming, that it's in the works, but. Like, you got to look at the big picture, man. It's always a bigger picture for those who, I guess, for those who can see it. Yeah. And that's the thing. But it's like, like you said, you don't, we don't know where the money was going. But, um, oh, here it go. NFL teams unanimously agreed Monday to implement a local matching funds component of the League Social Justice Initiative. So now you got 32 teams matching what the league going to do. Yeah, so the NFL and the Players Coalition finalized a partnership Monday that dedicates close to $90 million for efforts and programs com combating social inequality, NFL, yeah, all the rest is bullshit. That was May 22, 22nd, 2018. So, I mean... This was last year. So they already, I mean... They, they did what they can. We don't know what they was doing, but they was putting forth at least... In effort to, but we're blaming do the NFL like the NFL created yeah. social injustice or yeah. racial inequality. Like the NFL didn't create that shit. If anything, we should yeah. be thankful that the NFL has been employing niggas for as long yeah. as they have because they employ a lot of fucking niggas. Because <laughs> who, matter of fact, who employs more black people than the NFL? It may be the NBA. No, maybe. more than. Oh, more than as far as numbers go. Yeah, I can't think of anybody. Yeah, I ain't talking about like per capita. Like yeah, I can't think of yeah. anybody. <laughs> I can't. Not per capita. Like eighty-five percent of the NFL is white. Or black until you get to you know owners and shit like that, yeah. yeah which makes it look like some slave master shit, yeah. But these niggas are getting millions of dollars, like yeah, they're they, not they they million dollar slaves. Yeah, I mean they are technically million. We're all slaves. yeah, we're all slaves, nigga. Yeah. Like when you go to work, you go to somebody who's like, I'm gonna pay you this much per hour for the shit you're gonna do today. 
and you better be thankful you have a fucking job. Because, <laughs> yeah, because I need it. That's what they told you. You're like, yeah, damn. But, but yeah, it's just like, man, I don't, I don't know. It's, we ain't even finished with the shit that Jay-Z does, man. This nigga's fucking great. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead. Let's, let's run it down some more. We were talking about the shit that he did in Mars. So, people, first of all, let me address that. The guy that I was talking to was like, you know, people like Nipsey and shit were buying buildings and people like Mary J. Blige and Queen Latifah building houses and shit for people. And guess what? And just to combat that point, they're making money doing that shit. They're making money doing that shit. And it's okay. But that's the whole thing. So it's like you can't you can't bash somebody for something that you praising somebody else for. But like what do y'all want Jay-Z to do? Tear down Marcy Projects and rebuild it in the fucking condo? (laughs) So the same motherfuckers can move back in and destroy it? Because it's still the fucking hood. Like just because you make the shit look nice, nigga, it's still the hood. That shit don't make I I, I don't know. Like I said, man, some people just don't know where their outrage actually comes from. So you got that's just They just they just want to hate something or they just want to speak just because they feel like everybody's talking about it and they feel like i get to have an opinion this nigga pay wayne's taxes like he don't just help poor people he help rich people too oh he stopped 21 savage from getting deported he got me a fucking legal team he said i wouldn't have been able to get out of jail without him Come on, man. That free meat documentary was fire. Too, Bro, and then think of what else he might have done that we don't even know, they like behind know. the scenes with niggas. Just know that he donated money for Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Maria, yeah. the shit that tore Puerto Rico up. Like, man, leave this man alone, man. He's helped way too many people. Man, shout out to Hov. Shout out, salute to Hov, man. You right. Shout out ain't big enough. Yeah, salute, man. Salute the motherfucking Hov. Salute man. to Sean Carter, B. Sean Corey. Yeah. <laughs> we got to put the whole Sean mm, Corey mm, Carter, mm, man. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, so, like I said, I'm not going to just be outraged and hate hope because that is the cool thing to do. Nah, man. Fuck out of here. I'm not going to. It just doesn't make sense, yo. And the problem with. Here's why I see a, The problem with a lot of y'all fake woke motherfuckers is y'all are so pro black that you forget to use logic. Yeah, and it just does, like you have to apply everyday human logic to shit. I understand that you want the betterment for black people. So do I. Like, but nigga, there's still logic that pertains to shit, and it's just that's just not going to change no matter how much I want for the betterment of black people. And that's a fact. And the sooner you understand that, the sooner black people will be able to get better. Yeah. Like, Accountability you, is everything. Y'all want the NFL to change, but you want the change to happen from outside. Like, somebody has to be inside there to make the change yeah. happen. Come on, man. Y'all love Nip so much, right? I'm the spook by the door. This the infiltration. Read the spook by the door. Or watch the old movie. And you then got- you'll understand what the fuck that phrase means. You'll see, like... Or, or they wanted the NFL to change themselves. These same police officers that y'all hate. <laughs> Nip had to sit down with these people. It's like, yo, let's make a change. You gotta sit down with these people. You have to if you want to make change. Yeah, niggas is not gonna just say, "Oh damn, something's going on over there." Yeah, we should, we should change. Nah, like you gotta get in there where they are at, and I just drop. I keep dropping. Them you up. keep dropping. Yeah, that shit go break. You gotta, you gotta get in there to touch the people. It goes back to y'all communication skills, man. You gotta learn. You gotta learn how to how to interact with people, man. You have to. Change ain't never gonna happen. Dude, it's like um tweets, like. I think one of the Twitter's not gonna save the world. It's not. Nah. One of the smartest things they did was partner with Robert Kraft, though. Yeah. However, they got cool with him. I'm cool with that. And they say Robert Kraft still supports Trump or some of his like. So, I ain't, I ain't gonna get too much into it. But you know how many black-owned businesses support Trump? Pro-black-owned businesses. It's not even that you're necessarily supporting Trump. Is you you support yourself? That shit may work better for you. His tax laws and shit may be better for you yeah and i'm not saying that but i logically i understand there's a reason behind it you know what i'm saying you may not necessarily support that man but it may be a betterment for your life that's it and it's mm-hmm. like everything it's gooses and ganders man Every, you know how they say everything ain't that's good for the goose is good for the gander yeah it's not you we all want people to be 100 percent perfect yeah. man everybody not gonna be 100 percent perfect but if you're doing good shit to help people, man, 
and you're not doing no fuck shit to, to tear people down. Who gives a fuck, man? Social media got people fucked up. And they, right. they feel like that shit is really reality. You can be who the fuck you want on social media. Wi Fi is a motherfucker. Ryan said yeah. that shit. Ryan said Wi Fi is a motherfucker. <laughs> what he, he said some other shit too. He said, uh, motherfuckers that have been working for a job. For <laughs> Yo, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> y'all shout out to Ryan. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers been working for a job for 12 years. Yeah, ain't a supervisor. You ain't even been yeah. supervisor yet. But you mad at home. But you mad at home. <laughs> Shout out to Ryan. Don't yeah. ever fucking do another story with your shirt off, though. Yeah, that was like, mad. That was wild. I felt, <laughs> bro, I felt <laughs> weird even commenting on the shit because I was like, this nigga got his shirt off, but he like, said some real shit and this shit. Yeah, yeah don't Ryan, do that don't shit ever do that shit with your shirt off again. Yeah, it was wild. But yeah, it's like, <laughs> but it's the truth, though. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the only person that thought that shit. I was like, that's a wild shit. <laughs> I feel weird even like. Saying shit about yeah, this. bro. I was about to hit the skip on his shit, but it was <laughs> like, oh, he's he saying some real shit. So let me at least fucking hear. So I had this is what I did. I hit the skip, and I was just like, <laughs> I, hit him, I hit him with this. Let me just hear what he's saying. <laughs> oh man, y'all niggas is wild, man. man. The main, I, I want y'all to. And I want I want to hear y'all opinions on what y'all think about it. Not that it's going to change my opinion, but feel free to to tell us what you think about the Jay Z NFL deal because we would definitely love to hear y'all opinions. Um, and I like to debate people; it's all in good fun. Absolutely, but we only debate facts, though. Fact, we're not, I'm not debating. We're not emotions. debating. I'm not debating your emotions. No more opinion. I'm I'm next time I'm gonna stop you. I'm not gonna let you debate a motherfucker that's in their feelings again. I mean, I could have stopped myself. I told you I was bored. Yeah, yeah, I, I could yeah, tell yeah, by bored. some of the shit you were saying. Yeah, it was. So you're telling me. Yeah, <laughs> so what you're saying is. I just want to make sure I have a clear understanding. But no. No, then um, the nigga wrote a paragraph. He was like, so you agree? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wrote a paragraph and tell me, yeah. I'd be bored. I like to so what you, No, no, that ain't what you said. So you said, so what you're saying is yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is yes. You said all that to say yes, yeah, right? Yeah, man. I'm an asshole in real life. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. So, um, yeah, definitely let, us, definitely let us know what y'all think about that that whole Jay Z situation. Um, regardless, it's still salute to whole here, B. Man, I'm never gonna like. He's definitely gonna have to fucking like do some like off the wall shit for me to stop supporting whole. Yeah, I seen you know, and, and rightfully so, nigga. They started comparing this man to like Nelson Mandela and great to the world. He's really changing the world, yo. But no, if you think about it. He's changing the world for black people. He's changing the world for white people. Like, Think about this, bro. And Call me on this. Jay-Z going to own an NFL team, y'all. He's going to. 100% too. He's not, going not to. a partial owner. No, nah, it, it might be a partial. But if he's a partial owner, he's going to be majority. He's going to be yeah, majority principal owner, owner of, of an NFL team. You know what I'm saying? And that shit will be huge because it's going to be the first black man in history. He's going to change the game. And it's going to be fucking crazy. He's going to change the game, y'all. So. But no, somebody... um. Nah, did he you? try that shit? They shut Diddy out. You yeah. know why? Because they didn't he wanted fuck. the um, what the you wanted the Panthers, the Panthers right? It was the Panthers he wanted, yeah. But no, um, because you didn't already have a foot in the door. Yeah, and it's crazy. You would think Diddy like, like white America loves up. Diddy, not as much as they love old. I guess corporate America don't. Um, yeah. yeah, but yeah. So I mean, I forgot. I don't know. You just ain't gonna get no credit this week. <laughs> but I might put it in the comments when I remember who said it. But somebody was saying pretty much like how they were saying that um, Mandela was a sellout, Martin Luther King. Like they considered them that at that time, yeah. not like now. Like now yeah. they're historical. Yeah. But they were saying like Martin Luther King at one point yeah. people said it was a sellout. Uh, Malcolm X at one point people said it was a sellout. They always gonna hate you. After they, they don't understand it. And after the shit became history, yeah, they fucking who they are now. It's because a lot, again, a lot of people. I think Hove is gonna get that same, that same sentiment. It's gonna be like everybody's saying he's selling out and all this dumb shit now, but once this shit unfolds and it becomes what it's supposed to yeah. become, they're gonna be like, "Yo, I'm glad Hove did what he did." Everybody doesn't, and it's just the way the world's supposed to be. Everybody doesn't see the big picture at that time. And you're not supposed to. Like I said, you're just not built like that. But yeah. if you're able to see the big picture while the small picture is happening, it's amazing, yo. And that's, I mean, the big picture is important, man. 
And a lot of people don't want to see that shit. They just want to see the... They want to see what they feel. Yeah. So it's like, yo, that's all, all most people give a fuck about is... Logic it. over emotion. All day, every day. Logic over emotion, man. You got it. So, yeah, let's get into the topic real quick. Um, that wasn't it. We, we just got one. It folds into it, though. Jeez. We it, it, it literally folds right into it. It's um, pretty much... Are people really are people really that outraged, or are they com- are, or are they outraged no, conveniently? It's fake, man. <laughs> are they really outraged, or is it convenient outrage? Like they, everybody's mad fake, about man. it. Now I have a point. I now have a time to. I get a chance to motherfucking express my voice to the if world. If social media didn't exist, most of these motherfuckers wouldn't even know what's happening in the world. And that's a fact. You're fake, man. You don't really care. You're not gonna care next week. If Jay Z dropped the album, you're still gonna buy the album. Jay Z and Beyonce going on tour, the tours are still gonna fucking sell out. Like nobody's mad. No, nobody's. Yo, the thing I realized, like the one nigga on Facebook, Eric Betters, is mad. I'm gonna call you by name because I don't give a shit. I knew you was going. <laughs> this nigga hates Jay Z. I don't understand it. Like he's been posting hate shit about Jay Z all fucking week. <laughs> that shit's wild. I, I, knew, was a, I, I was in front of them from. when I want to seem like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they just get sick of seeing the nigga shit like, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I knew he was going to do it. I won't go. I'll do it. I don't give a fuck. I mean, because you bold. Nigga, be bold. Stand, you stand by your stance in that school. Bro. No, and yeah. That shit is, is purely emotional. But yeah, no, I mean, I feel the same way. I feel like it's convenient outrage. I feel like most, even with the, um, with the boycott, I think if... If nobody was to come out and say, yo, we're boycotting the NFL because Colin don't got a job, I think nobody would have did it. I don't single-handedly know a nigga that didn't watch NFL. Like, yeah. other, like you said, you did it. I don't know a nigga who boycotted the NFL. Yeah. But see, like I said, most people, their boycott was watching it on the fire stick. Yeah, sure. Or going to the it. bar. I'm not looking. That shit's stupid. That's man. what I'm saying. So they, or they go to the bar, so it's like... I didn't. It's not on my TV. It's not. Woo and woo. At that point in time, I, I legitimately, because I'm logical, I would have understood why people were boycotting. Because at that point, I felt like Colin Kaepernick was blackball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the shit that he did. Even though he quit the team and he turned down the contract for yeah. playoffs. Still felt like he was, you know what I'm saying? It was a little fuck shit going on. So I would have understood your boycott that. Once the nigga settled and he took the money, like, that was it. That boycott shit was dead. You got what you wanted. Yeah. I mean, and then, like, At one point, you got paid to not play. Like, sound yeah. better to me. Because they still had to give him. They still had yeah, to fulfill. You didn't go to work. And yeah. You got paid for that. They shit. still had to fulfill his contract. You won. Yeah, and then I mean, at one point, um, motherfuckers was like, Super Bowl niggas was not niggas was watching it. I mean, there was one point where I, I, I think mean, that was the year yeah. niggas won the Super Bowl. I need y'all niggas to boycott the NFL again. Yeah, go on strike this year. Fuck the NFL. If them niggas win again, yeah, I'm fuck definitely going to Fuck the NFL, yeah. Do that shit again. So my if them niggas win again, I'm definitely going to boycott. Cool with that shit. <laughs> I'm definitely yeah, going to boycott cool. the fuck I'm out of here, NFL. But no, nah, so it's like, I mean, when I say I did it, I legitimately did it, though. Like I said, I might have watched two games in the three seasons, but it was on, like, the fire stick. True. Well, there you go. Now I know one nigga. Now I'm saying, but, but that, that was me trying to just... Stick to my guns, and it's just like, yo. I'm not living life without football, yo. No, I can't. I can't do oh, it. Oh, no, not again. Can't do it. Not again. And then I got a real reason to support Hoven in the NFL. Yeah, <laughs> the NFL is great. <laughs> They're making real change. Niggas say Hoven in the NFL, like, he's a running back. Like, yeah, Hoven's in the NFL Hoven's now. Hoven's in the so. NFL now, yeah, yeah. Salute to Hoven. That nigga do so much, he might can fuck around and be a receiver. He, what, 6'4"? <laughs> Jay Z ain't running no fucking wear. I think he's like sixty. Nice for Nah, you right. Hov can't. He can. He can't even like. You seen this nigga riding a bike? He don't really. He's he's not comfortable doing active shit. Yeah, the jet ski picture was bad. <laughs> that shit was terrible. <laughs> he's not comfortable doing active shit. Yeah, cool. But it don't matter because the nigga actively just makes money. Facts. <laughs> so it's like the fuck I need to run a rock for. I run. I the run the rock. rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good one. I see that. Yeah. You know what I mean. But um, yeah, people think outrage. Stop being mad, yo. Like, 
like, especially be mad about shit you don't do your research on. Yeah. Like, read, reading is fundamental. Yeah, yo, and stop fucking um, using satire sites as sources. Yeah. Like the Grapevine or whatever the fuck them sites is. This nigga hates satire sites, apparently. Yeah. As, as facts, yes. Mm. Understandable, understandable. Because the, the nigga you was debating, he, the, he was posting nothing but satire sites mm. as, as fact links. After, you know, and I should have listened again to Jay-Z. Because who always tells us what to do in life. It costs lot, you nothing to pay niggas no mind. That also. <laughs> a wise man told me don't argue with fools. Because people from a distance can't, can't tell, tell who is who. who. Yeah. So, you know. But I get bored sometimes. I like to entertain people's bullshit. I had time with my leg is healing up. Yeah. I mean, shit. You go on Twitter. You can definitely have some good motherfucking. Uh, Y'all follow me on Twitter, yo. <laughs> Ayo, A-O-A-Y-O, the dialogue. A Y O is the number eighty. Streets. Proof. Seven City Streets on Twitter. on Twitter. I say a lot of reckless shit on Twitter, so you know, it is what it is. And salute to Jared, punk ass. Yeah, my man, leaving for Houston on Monday, man. I miss you, dog. Wish we, you the best. Definitely coming to Houston to fuck with you. We gonna fuck Houston up. Yeah. That's what we did from last night, though. We went through like four bottles of Hennessy. Yeah, I seen. A bottle. That shit was I don't. Bad. I, I honestly don't want to talk about this because I wasn't. <laughs> they say how bad it was, right? So I left. I you went to tell go. a nigga you don't want to talk about something. There's nobody over here, by the way. <laughs> you tell a nigga you don't want to talk about something, and he just goes more in depth. I'm gonna listen though, cause I wanna. No, but you know niggas do. You know niggas doing that shit. You know, so be like, yo, you know somebody. You be like, no, I don't know that. Yeah, you do, nigga. That, yeah. nigga that, I'm no. lying, nigga. I definitely wanna know what the fuck happened last night, nigga. I wasn't there. I know shit got filthy. I know I got trash. So I go to leave. I go to leave. I go to leave the queue at like two o'clock, like two a.m. Got your mind. So I get in the car and I know I'm trash. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna just sit here and take a quick nap. Nigga, I wake up in front of my, I wake up in my car in front of the queue. It's like five thirty. <laughs> like you know what? Nigga, I, you went to sleep. I, I want to yeah, nap. Like nigga, I can drive home now. <laughs> that shit was bad. I wouldn't have drove home, nigga. I would have drove across the street to Waffle House. I was trying to go to Wawa. I was going to stop, <laughs> but I was like, I can't. I couldn't make it. Like well, yeah, nigga. Yeah, if I stop, I'm not going home. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go right back to sleep. It. Yeah, I'm. It was like four bottles of Hennessy, a bottle of Crown Apple, a bottle of Remy, a bottle of Jack. Did he have that Jack? That shit. Jack. Yeah, he ain't pulled a cat out last night. Oh, he didn't pull the cat out. That shit got. That shit was bad. There was some edibles. It was. It was a lot. You know what? You know what was not there? You. Fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> fucking me. My invite. He doesn't like to do regular nigga shit. Jobs rich. So. Bruh. He doesn't like to hang around regular niggas. Listen, these niggas is niggas I call my friends. We told, we told him we were drinking Hennessy last night. He said it's not Duce, so I'm not coming. I probably would have said that. I wouldn't have said I won't come in, though. Nah, that's what he said. <laughs> I wouldn't have said I won't come in. So. Salute the hoes. But yeah, so niggas just don't invite me nowhere. I'm like, they tell me. Like, last time I called this nigga, he was like, yo, yeah, bro. This nigga went to Costa Rica by himself. I didn't go by myself. We know who he was with. Um, man, let's wrap this shit up, man. The Cormier fight about to start in a little bit. I think Cormier gonna win tonight because he's yeah, in Vegas. Let's, so let's, shout let's out to the black quick, man. Let's quick predictions. Quick predictions. Quick predictions before we get into the positive words. So I think Cormier is gonna win. Yeah. I'm always going for Nate Diaz. That's my dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also agree with you there. Um, I forgot who else is on the card because that's the only two I really, really, really want to see. That's pretty much it. Romero and Costa, I think the Romero will probably win that. Romero is definitely going to win that. I give that third round knockout. Yusef and Benitez, I'm going to go for Yusef just because he's a black man. Shout out to us black people. I always bet on black. I learned that shit in Vegas. Yeah. So, that's what we're going to run with for the predictions for tonight. But UFC 241. Yeah. Any positive words for the week? Um... Uh, Logic over emotion, man. We're going to stick with it. Stick with it, man. Logic over emotion, man. Research shit. If you're going to have a debate, come with facts, not just your... It's going to come with your opinion, and I understand that, but have some facts to back up your opinion. Please make it logical. Um, you're never going to win a debate or an argument with an emotional person, so don't do it. It's a waste of fucking time. 
Even if you win, you lose. Because you got to say some real hurtful shit. Right? <laughs> and I don't want to do that. Yeah, shit. somebody that's in, in their feelings and they really passionate, passionately emotional about yeah. You got to say some hurtful shit about. for you to win. Because you have to attack their emotions at that point. And you don't want to do that. So. Yeah. All I know is if, if I'm debating, especially this whole shit, and somebody called me a coon, what like they're going to have to see me, bro. I still got a bad ass. I can't do that. So I feel like the only thing that's more disrespectful than somebody calling me a coon that I can rebuttal with is just telling them, yo, suck my dick. Sheesh. Yeah. Like, what's more disrespectful than that? You said you tell me to suck your dick, I'll punch you in the face. Like, I, it's an automatic. Exactly. That's an automatic invite exactly. to the fight. Exactly. And that's, when, right. at that point, that's, that's how yeah. I feel. That is an automatic invite to a fight. <laughs> and I am going to accept it. Please believe. <laughs> Fucked up leg and all, like, nigga. Please, <laughs> please, please, please believe. Well, uh, yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's just like, yo, like, I feel like that coon shit is just knowing the, the, the history of the word and what that shit really means. Yeah. And not what the 2019 social media says this shit means. Like, yeah, no, don't call me no fucking coon. Nah, nah, just because I don't agree with your bullshit narrative. I agree with you 100%, though. I feel you. I definitely yeah. understand where you're coming from. So now I want, I want to fight you. But I don't want to say, yo, I want to fight you because you called me a coon. So I'm going to make you want to fight me. No, I just punch you in the face. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even need a reason. <laughs> so, uh, shit, my positive words for the week. I don't really have none, man. You're, it makes you a horrible fucking person. <laughs> I think it's had seven days to come up with a positive thought for y'all. And this thing does not have one. He stole my fucking. <laughs> this nigga stole my whole positive, <laughs> my whole positive input. Oh man, this nigga's terrible, man. I told y'all he's a hard friend to have. He's so. Check on your friends. For facts. Nah, for real. Like, sometimes shit is bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? So, it's it's, it's cool to still check on your people. Like, you don't have to wait to. Oh, this yeah. person's not checking on me, so I ain't checking on them. Yeah, Fuck them. Weird. Like, they might be going through something. You never know. You might be the phone call that keep them from jumping off the edge. I really I feel like you just recycled that positive thought from another episode. So until next week. This nigga using recycled positive thoughts. Until next week. Do your research. Do your research. For facts. <laughs>